so in this class we'll see how Java methods are declared and used okay in, in Java every method has a name and a list of parameters okay and to the left of the method you have a return type the return type can be void in float or some other object and so whereas the modifiers can be like the access that is public protected private those are all the different modifiers and it can throw an exception so all the exceptions come in the throws clause and then every method has a body the body of the method always starts after the opening brace and ends after the closing brace so let's look at an example okay so for example in this employee class we have a lot of different methods so let's look at this method called set email address this is the name of the method and this method takes one argument which is a string and email address is the name of that argument and the return type of this method is void void means it does not return anything whereas in get email address the return type is a string the return type identifies the type of the object being returned so a method can return either a primitive type or an object string itself is an object but you can have like primitive types like int, float, double and all and so on and public basically means that any anyone can invoke this method if they have an object of this class you always invoke a method using an object of a class if the method is an instance method instance method methods can only be only be invoked via an instance of the object Whereas class methods can be invoked without having an instance of the object. A class method is invoked by using the class name. Class methods are not associated with any object of the class. Okay. So going back to the method, we saw that the method declaration. Okay. And every method has what is called as a signature. The signature contains the name of the method and the parameter list the parameter list basically means the name the, the type and the order okay so the parameter the signature does not include the parameter names and the return type so going back to the set email address what is the signature of this method the name of the method is set email address and the parameter list what is the parameter list here string the name of the parameters is doesn't, doesn't matter all that matters is the type of the parameters and the order in which they appear let's say if you had a met the set email address taking two arguments one is a string and another is an integer in that case the signature is set email address taking a string followed by an int whereas if you had another method called set email address where the first argument was an int and the second was a string then the signatures are different the order is ex extremely important so the types and the order of the types are part of the email signature the return type is not part of the email signature and the parameter names are also not part of the method signature okay and every method is always invoked by using the object every instance method is always invoked using an object of that class followed by a dot followed by the method name followed by this opening parenthesis and the parameters that method takes and the closing parenthesis For example, in this particular case, you have a method called set year of birth. Okay? So you need an object of the class. And then you invoke the method and you this method takes an integer value, right? 
So here I'm passing y, which is 1974 to this. So method is always invoked using an object of the class. So in our example program, in the employee demo, we first create an employee called E1. We call we set the name, SSN, and email ID. These are all method method invocations, and these are all public methods. That's why I can invoke them. Right? Okay, so this is, this is how methods are invoked. So, yeah, just look at this method and see how the different methods are being invoked here. 